I don't know if you guys can see, but that looks and smells disgusting. Let me give you a quick look. I don't know if I could somehow give you a look on my hand here. Can you see that disgustingness? Look at that. Just black, brown, smells atrocious. Oh God, I'm really not looking forward to this. Hey there team, so I woke up this morning really wanting to smoke a joint, so I went into my containers and I saw nothing. I went into my grinder, there was nothing. I went into my pipes and my bongs and I found nothing. I have no more weed left this morning. So you know what I have to do. I'm gonna have to go way back in time and roll what me and my friends used to call a legacy joint. Now, if you guys don't know what a legacy joint is, congratulations, that is awesome that you guys never had to smoke one. But if you do know, you are quite aware what I'm about to do. I'm about to roll a joint out of roaches. So right here, you could see I have over 100 cannabis roaches. Just bunches from the joints that I've smoked in the last few months. I had them all in a little ashtray. So this morning I put them all in a bag. And what we're going to do is take everything that's left in there, dump it on this little piece of paper, roll it up in a joint, smoke it so I can get high this morning. Because I have no actual flour to smoke. I don't know what the heck I was thinking last night finishing it all. But I definitely wasn't thinking about this morning. So let's get right to it. Let's open these bad boys up and roll ourselves a 100 roach clip legacy joint. So, I mean, I'm just going to do this one at a time. I'm just going to grab, you could see a little roach there. So I'm just going to dump all the cannabis onto the here and then move on to the next one. So I really don't have much cannabis in these little roaches because, I mean, I, I smoke as much as I can. I smoke them all the way down to the cut. So really not going to have much left in these bad boys. But there's definitely going to be a slight little bit. And that little bit will gather up and gather up and be become more and more. So far I've gone through four of the roaches. I have maybe one bong hit. But I don't want to smoke a bong. I want to smoke a joint. So let's just keep on going. I'm just going to keep on going here. We're going to keep on taking that little bit of weed that's left in there and dump it on out. As you can see, my fingers are going to be disgusting by the end of this. But I mean, it is what it is. When you want to smoke and you have no cannabis, you do what you got to do. So like I said, it's been years. I don't even remember the last time I had to do this. Usually I'm a lot better and I always have something put aside, whether it be edibles, whether it be hash, whether it be, I don't know, anything. But somehow this morning I completely messed up. I have nothing left. So thankfully I'm going to go back in time and roll a nice legacy joint. So I don't know if you guys have done this before. If you have, drop it down in the comments. Tell me the last time you did it. Tell me if you enjoy it. Tell me if you do it. Some people I know do it with all their roaches. They just keep smoking their roaches. They keep putting them in new joints. And then you can get like a third degree legacy joint, a fourth degree. So the more you smoke these bad boys, I mean, it's definitely not gonna taste good. I could tell you that right off the bat because there's going to be all this burnt matter in there because it's just been sitting in the uh, ashtray for months it's definitely not going to be good cannabis it's not going to be a good taste but it's definitely going to give you a buzz and i mean that's that's what we're looking for this morning we're looking for that buzz so right now i don't know if you guys could see it i have about i don't know 0.3 and they're all going to be little nubs. All the little, uh, all the little pieces of cannabis that I'm taking out of the cut here all stay like little nubs. I don't know if you could see that. So what I'm going to have to do to make sure that it actually rolls properly is I'm going to have to put it in the grinder, re-grind everything because these butches are super resinous. When you smoke your joint, 
you're pulling the joint, the smoke is going through, and the resin just starts building up and building up and building up. And then finally, when you're butcher joint, you have this super resinous, hard, ashy piece of cannabis at the end. And that's pretty much what I have here right on my table. I just have a bunch of ashy, resinous, old pieces of cannabis. So definitely not going to be anything to brag about, not going to be the nicest joint in the world, not going to taste good, might even burn weird, Might it's probably going to burn really quickly just because everything is already kind of half burnt here. But I mean, when you have nothing and you want to smoke, you do what you got to do. So right now I'm about, I don't know, let's say 30 roach clips in and I have enough for half of a joint so 30 roach clips for me make about half of a joint which is pretty good to know so i'm going to do about another 30 here and then we should have enough for our joint so as you could see some of these have a bit more cannabis than others this one had a nice decent little chunk in there a nice little bong hit so some have a lot more than others Sometimes the weed is so good, I have to smoke it all the way to the cardboard, and I only really stop when I taste that cardboard, when the taste changes and it's no longer cannabis, then I know to stop. But sometimes the cannabis isn't as good as I would like, so I do stop it a bit earlier, which does mean that I have a little bit more weed to work with. So we're just going to keep on going here. I'll give you another quick look at my hand, because it is disgusting. Look at that all from roaches now again this isn't going to be a clean job this isn't going to be a fancy job this isn't going to be something that you really tell your friends you did or anything but i mean if you have a bunch of roaches and you have no cannabis this is proof that you can still get high now like i said it's not going to be crazy enjoyable you're not going to like the taste and the buzz is gonna be weird just because it's a mix of so many joints. I have at least 40, 50 different joints going on here, all of them with different terpene profiles, all of them with different buzzes. So we're definitely gonna get a weird freaking joint going on here. But again, like I'm gonna keep saying, beggars cannot be choosers. And this morning, I have no cannabis, so I'm definitely going to be a beggar. So let's just keep on going here. I'm about three quarters of the way through and my arm, my right arm is kind of getting a little sore here. I do kind of want to switch to my left hand, but I mean, then my left hand's going to be just as dirty, but like, ah, whatever, I'll wash my hands afterwards. We're going through this COVID stuff, so we should be washing our hands multiple times a day anyway. So that'll just give me another reason to wash my hands. Let's get that stuff out of there. Now you do want to make sure that you don't get any paper in your joint because you're just kind of like pushing it back and forth. I actually didn't really tell you what I'm doing here. So let's just grab a nice cut and I'll show you what I'm doing. So here's going to be the cut. Here's going to be the weed part. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of pinching here and then pushing it out. So I'm pinching at the end and then pushing it out. So I'll just show you what it looks like. It'll fall on my table. So pinch and then it falls right out. So really, really easy to do. You just wanna make sure that you don't get any paper and you don't get any cardboard. All you want in your little pile right here is gonna be cannabis. So let's keep on going here. Like I said, I'm about three quarters of the way through. So I'll do, I don't know, 15, 20 more joints to make a total of I guess it's going to be 60 joints is going to fit into our one and a quarter paper, which is very cool to know. I have over a hundred roach clips here, so that means I have at least one more joint I could roll out of these bad boys. Now, it isn't something that I'm going to rush to do. I'm not going to roll the second one right away just because I'm probably going to go to the store later on today and go buy some cannabis because I like my cannabis. I like a strong, beautiful, clean terpene profile, and I'm definitely not going to get that from this. This is just 100% just to get high so I can go to the weed store later today and get some real cannabis. So let's just keep on going here. 
we got a few more just to make sure that we got a nice full joint and then we'll roll her up and see how it smokes. Now, like I said, it's been quite a while since the last time I smoked one of these joints. So as far as I remember, it's really not a pleasurable experience, but like I do remember it does get you high. So let's just keep on going here. I'll do three more just cause I mean, I could keep going, but let's do three more here. That's gonna be one. Okay. And let's do two and one last one for good luck. Boom. That's going to be our beautiful, beautiful, geez, I don't know if beautiful is the word I would use, but this is going to be all of our roach clip inside guts that I'm going to now turn into a joint. So like I said, because I have all these nubs, all these resinous nubs, I am going to have to grind it again just to make sure I could actually roll this thing. So let's just dump all of our roach guts inside here. I don't even want to call it cannabis because, I mean, it is barely cannabis anymore. So let's dump that, make sure it's all ground up, and there we have it. I don't know if you guys can see, but that looks and smells disgusting. Let me give you a quick look. I don't know if I could somehow give you a look on my hand here. Can you see that disgustingness? Look at that, just black, brown, smells atrocious. Oh God, I'm really not looking forward to this. I almost wanna just go to the store right now because, oh God, does this look disgusting. But I mean, it is what it is. Let's check it out together. Let's roll ourselves a legacy joint out of 100 cannabis roaches. So because it's so pulverized and dry, it is going to be absolutely ridiculously annoying to roll. Everything's going to be moving everywhere. It might even be hard to pull because it's such a finely ground flower here. But let's still give it a chance and see what happens. Because we've gotten halfway there. We've taken the cannabis out of the roaches. We're halfway through rolling it here. We might as we... Might as we might as well see how it smokes. So let me just go all the way to the edge, catch that edge. Okay, come around. You can see a lot is falling down because it's such a dry material here. Hopefully none of it ended up in my beard. I'm gonna have to wash my beard. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Just a disgusting experience. So now you guys know that if you guys ever want to do this, it is not going to be a clean job. It is not going to be an easy job. And it absolutely reeks. My room reeks of just old butches right now. Definitely not a pleasant experience. So here we have it, team. I'm just going to pack it up a little bit just to give it a good chance to burn. Hopefully it'll burn. I'm really not 100% sure. So let's just squish the tip. There we have it. So here it is, team. Here's going to be our legacy joint rolled out of 100% roaches. Here's going to be our roaches. Here's going to be some of our empty roaches that turned into our joint. So, I mean, let's get to it. Let's see if this guy actually smokes. And more importantly, let's see if we even get a buzz off of this guy. Legacy joint rolled out of roaches. Cheers. Oh God, that tastes absolutely disgusting. It tastes like an ashtray. It tastes like I'm smoking an ashtray. There's no other way to describe it. There's no terpenes coming across. This has 100% just ashtray terps. Ugh. Now because it's so finely ground, because it was all almost half burnt already, it's really hard to get a good pull out of it. I should have rolled it a bit looser just so a bit more air was able to go through. Let me try and loosen it up a bit here, see if I can get a better pull. Ooh. 
bit better of a pull, but still very light smoke, very unpleasant to smoke. There's no good taste. There's no smooth smoke. There's no heavy smoke. So really not going to be a pleasurable experience, but it definitely smokes and it definitely gives somewhat of a buzz. So I mean, it worked. I rolled a bunch of roaches, turned it into a joint, and I was able to get high. But man, it smells disgusting. It tastes disgusting. It's a disgusting thing to do. Just all your hands get dirty. So definitely not going to be a fun, enjoyable experience. But if all you want to do is get high off your own supply and not have to spend more money... You could definitely re-smoke your roaches again and get high. It's just, I mean, it's hard to recommend it. It's it's really hard. <clears throat> oh, geez. Such a weird smoke. Now, I did think I would be coughing a lot, and I'm not coughing, so that is going to be a surprise. But, I mean, my mouth just tastes disgusting right now. Literally tastes like I'm just eating an ashtray. Absolutely just not pleasurable at all. But what is kind of cool to see, because the material was already half burnt, the fact that I'm burning it again makes for such a white, clean ash. You could check it right there. Because this weed was burnt twice, look how white that ash is absolutely nuts so no resin ring going on but like even if there was i wouldn't really care just because it is such a disgusting tasting joint and the buzz isn't really going to be that strong because all the weed has already been pre-smoked already like half burnt already really not getting a strong crazy buzz but definitely getting a little something so like I said, not going to be the most enjoyable experience rolling 100 roaches into a brand new legacy joint. But if you've got nothing to smoke and you're super lazy just like I am this morning, it will definitely do in a pinch. So that's been today's episode of Canadian Cannabis, trying to turn 100 roaches into a brand new legacy joint. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope to see you next time. And if you want to see more, don't fret, don't fret, don't, don't, what do I say? If you want to see more, you should go check out my Patreon page where I post pics, I post videos, I hold contests. So I would love to see you there at Mr. Canadian Cannabis. So that's been today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. And as always, peace and love. Ugh. Cheers.